The freeze brush in 3D Coat's surface mode allows a user to apply a freeze mask with either a brush or any one of these shape draw modes to essentially freeze or disable the manipulation or the painting in this selected area. If I were to now try to sculpt across that, when I hit Control D to deselect, you can see how it froze or disabled the strips from crossing that frozen section. Now one thing about the freeze tool you might not be aware of is you have a menu. When you see the little move icon, you can click and drag it to place it in the viewport wherever you like. That way all the relevant options are available to you right at your fingertips. For example, if I wanted to create a freeze selection, and expand it. You can do that or contract it. You can sharpen it or smooth. Let's try that. Your keystroke options are very easy to remember because they're practically identical to what you have in Photoshop. If you want to deselect a marquee selection in Photoshop, you would hit Control D. Inverting the selection in Photoshop would be Control Shift I. You can store it and bring it back up at a later point if you like. Another nice thing about the freeze tool here in the Sculpt Workspace is it's interchangeable with the freeze brush in the Paint Workspace. If you use your hotkeys to switch between the workspaces, it makes it feel much more seamless. So what do I mean by that? I've assigned hotkeys to it, so I'm going to hit my F6 key and I'm instantly in the paint workspace where I can employ conditions painting to paint a freeze mask in the crevices or on the raised or extruded areas. So let's do more on concave. If you don't already have a curvature map, 3D Cut will calculate one for you. So while it's calculating, I'm gonna go ahead and mention, this is our freeze brush here. Whatever you paint with a freeze brush in a paint workspace works or is applicable in a sculpt workspace and vice versa. You have an option in the fill tool if you want to apply conditions across the entire model. There's a fill with freeze option in the tool options panel that you can utilize as well. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect. We can use our Smart Material Preview panel. Then make our adjustments. All right, and maybe bump up the degree a bit more. If we want to use our Freeze Brush now, Another option is to use our shape draw modes. So let's use a rectangle in this case. And I'll check ignore back faces because maybe I want it just on this side. There we go. Now I want to hit my hotkey to get back into the scope workspace. If we want now, we can go ahead and use maybe something like the draw brush. To accentuate some of these skin folds. Just kind of building up the extruded areas just a bit. And now, again, if I want to store this, I can. But in this case, I won't. I'll just go ahead and clear it, unfreeze all. 
Another way that you might employ the freeze brush is using stencils. You can quickly paint a freeze pattern on your model. And once again, you can invert that freeze selection later on if you so choose. Before we finish up, I want to cover a few small things here. When you apply a freeze mask, it respects your brush alpha. So if you're using a soft edge brush alpha, it's going to be softer. If you use something that's a little hard edge like this, you'll notice how crisp it is. You can also smooth locally by holding down the shift key and smoothing your free selection. One thing to keep in mind is the higher the resolution, the smoother your freeze mask will be. This is a very typical application whenever you are working near eyelids or the mouth. Perhaps you want to freeze the lower lip while you manipulate the upper lid or upper lip. So let's go in a little bit further here and brush. Another tip I should point out is that when you are using other tools, you can invoke the freeze brush by holding down a hot key and using it in a sticky key fashion. If I were sculpting with a clay brush, uh, or maybe say something like the rapid brush, and I wanted to add to my mask, I can hold down that hot key, and now I can temporarily utilize it and let up from that hotkey and go right back to the brush I was working with. Lastly, if I want to subtract from my freeze mask, I can hold down the control key and erase from it that way. And that will conclude this look at the freeze brush in surface mode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.